Baby Groot has got to be one of the cutest things ever put on screen. Hey guys, welcome to the See or Not to See, and today we're going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So the Guardians of the Galaxy returns, and it's pretty much the original cast, you know, as the first movie. All the same people, Chris Pratt, you know, Zoe Saldana, all of them are back, as well as new characters played by Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone, and many others. All the returning cast do great, just like they did in the first movie. I really love watching these people, they all gave great performances. One of the returning characters I wanted to talk about was Michael Rooker as Yondu. I didn't talk about him in my first Guardians of the Galaxy review, so I wanted to talk about him here. And let me just say, he does so great as Yondu. I don't really know much about Yondu from the comics, but Michael Rooker, you know, I haven't really seen him in anything before, but he does a great job in this movie. He did a great job in the last movie, and in this movie he just took it to a whole nother level, and I loved watching his character. I loved everything about it. I just had a great time watching him. Karen Gillian as Nebula, Thanos' daughter, is another one that I want to talk about that I didn't get a chance to talk about in my first Guardians of the Galaxy review. She does really great in this movie. Her character is expanded upon, just like with Yondu, and I just had a great time watching her. She gives a great performance, great makeup job on both these characters. You know, it's just, they're so fun to watch. It's great that they are actually there, and, you know, they have a great arc in the story that you love that you really love watching. Palm Clementoff as Mantis is a new character that they introduced in this movie, and she is a lot of fun. I think that they did a great makeup job on her, whatever they did with, you know, makeup and CGI and everything. She looked great. She did a great performance. You know, I don't know much about Mantis. I don't know much about any of the Guardians characters, you know, because I never read that part of the Marvel Universe, but I had a great time watching her. I think she did great. She's a very likable character. But the one I really wanted to talk about was Kurt Russell as Ego, the Living Planet. Without giving anything away, oh my god, he just does this perfect. Kurt Russell's a great actor in the first place. I liked him in the Fast and Furious movies, and I love him here. He just did such a good job as Ego. It was just, it was just perfect. I mean, it was great, you know. Every time he's on screen, you know, you love everything that he's saying. You just, you, you listen to him. He commands authority with the character that he's playing, and it, Hearing him just explain everything about who he is, how he came to be, what he's done, I loved it. I think he did a great job in this movie. Easily one of the best parts of this movie. Now, for some of the bad things in this movie, the humor does get in the way a lot, you know, in the beginning of the movie. Like, the whole first act, it starts out really clunky. The humor's just getting in the way, kind of like it did in Age of Ultron, and it just really hinders this movie. But in the second act, things start to smooth out, and the movie gets, you know, really good. It smooths out towards the end, and it, you know, it, it really ties up nicely together. But the first act was a little bit clunky. But for the good things in this movie, the villain is just amazing. He's great. I mean, I loved every second that he was on screen, and it really... What makes this movie, to me, better than the first Guardians of the Galaxy is the villain. Like, they actually got a good villain for this movie, where the first movie had Ronan, who really just sucked, this villain in this movie is amazing and one of the best parts of the movie and easily, I think, one of the MCU's best villains. So the relationship between Star-Lord and Ego, the Living Planet, was just amazing. The way that they have such chemistry, it is just so great to see them interacting on screen together. Every time you see them interact, you want to hear what they're saying. You just, you love it. You, you buy it. With you know, When characters have great chemistry, you want to see them, you know, just interact with each other. That's something that Marvel does really well. The relationship between Nebula and Gamora was explored more here than it was in the first movie, and I love seeing that. I love seeing these two sisters interact with each other. It's a tragic backstory that they both have, but it is so good and so... I just love watching these two characters interact with each other. I don't think I mentioned this either in my first Guardians of the Galaxy review, and that was, you know, the soundtrack. The soundtrack with all the songs they chose from the 70s, and as well as the theatrical score, was just great. It makes you feel like you're on this big, epic, grand adventure, and I loved it. And just like the last movie, the whole third act and the climax of this movie is just amazing. If they can just, like, just... For Infinity War and all the other Avengers movies, just bring James Gunn along just to, like, write the third act of the climax for any of those movies, and you should be fine. Because, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy, out of all the Marvel movies, I think, end their movies the best. 
Because, uh, let's face it, with the new Avengers movies, I just don't want to see the Avengers fighting this giant army of whatever just to get to the big super villain again. I want to see something a little bit different. Overall, guys, I love Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I liked it even better than the first movie. I've heard some things about this movie that people were saying it wasn't as good as the first one. I think it was far better than the first one. And the first one is a great movie, so that makes this one even better. I highly recommend it. I give it a 2C because it's the Guardians of the Galaxy, bitch. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. I am currently working on my Alien series reviews. That includes Prometheus, because I know one of my uh, followers asked me if I was going to be reviewing Prometheus. I will be reviewing that movie, so be on the lookout for those reviews. I hope to have them up soon. And that also does include Alien Covenant, if I can even see it in the theaters in time, but, you know... Whatever, I'll get to it when I get to it. And remember guys, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.